So, for a while now, I have been receiving a fair amount of compliments when it comes to how I shade my drawings. And I decided to actually make a video explaining my process. So, maybe if some people that really want to find out how I do it can take some inspiration, or maybe implement my techniques into whatever they are doing. So, yeah, I will show you step by step what I do when I'm shading drawings. Okay, so as you can see, I use um, Clip Studio Paint for all of my drawings. Um, I just find the program incredibly comfortable, it's easy to use, and the accessibility of all the free brushes and that kind of stuff is actually really, really nice. You know, you can customize brushes really easily, which is definitely a huge plus. So, I'm gonna start by picking some kind of color for the purpose of this demonstration, and I'm gonna do maybe a little blob like that. So, what I do now is make a new layer, and uh, here's, uh, here's the kicker. For all of my drawings, I use the default airbrush in Clip Studio Paint and black. That's right, I do exactly what most artists tell you to never fucking do when I draw. <laughs> you know, don't use the airbrush, it's gonna result in pillow shading or something like that, and I'm just like, Bled, you just don't know how to use the airbrush. So, what I do is make it big here and add a little bit of something like that. Lower the opacity. And now, here's the secret to my shading. Edit the hardness of the airbrush. So what I'm gonna do now is still use black. And as you can see, the airbrush with a bigger hardness produces soft but less blurry edges. And this is what makes my art really pop. So, this is how it generally goes. I'm gonna, you know, what I usually also do is like, when I use the more standard airbrush, I do a little bit of blurring using the blur tool, then a little bit of adjusting, still using the sharper, you know, the sharper airbrush. And then, I typically use um, these. Uh, like uh, tone brushes, which are just they add little dots to your drawings. Yeah, like that. Boom. It takes a little bit of work in order to get the pressure to behave because <laughs> my tablet stylus recently broke, so I'm using a stylus from. A really old tablet from 2017. And the one that I have is super scratched to the point where it has a hole in its surface. This picture is from Google. <laughs> I am uh, I'm struggling to get the pen pressure to behave. As you can see, I placed down some tone and then I adjusted it using the transform tool. That is because uh, I don't know how to adjust the size of these dots, I don't know if you even can do that, so I do it that way. <laughs> Listen, modern problems require modern solutions. So, after I apply the dots, I take the airbrush again and uh, set it to transparent and then I blur the edges a little bit. And then I lower the opacity, as, as you can see, you get this really really cool effect. What I tend to also do outside of these dots is add the, the gradient because Clip Studio Paint has this nice manga gradient thing tool it's really useful as you can see because you know how my art has like these fucking like shadows at the bottom this is what I use to add them I don't use the average because that would just be crazy okay <laughs> So optionally, I also add some highlights. I typically just use a brighter color that is more corresponding to the actual base color. Boom. 
and then I change the hardness again and use it to blur the edges a little bit and then I change the opacity maybe optionally use the glow dodge effect on the layer and yeah so something special that I also tend to do is uh, use gradient maps to really make my stuff pop even more and it's also why the black shading in my art commonly doesn't even look like it's black <laughs> because I use filters and gradient maps that's the secret that's that that's how I do it so what I'm gonna do is add a correction layer over here and gradient map I have a couple of these already downloaded you can make your own custom ones um, using some of these options but I personally find it easier to just download the ready gradient maps from the clip studio asset store and when I double click look at that wow yeah, it adds these pretty cool effects. You can just click through them, pick out the one that you think is gonna look the best. And just sort of... Yeah, just click through them, find whatever looks the coolest, works the best. I think I'm gonna go with this one. And then, very important, I clip it. To the layer below and look at that lowering the opacity does this cool little thing holy crap look at that it magically changes color now what you can also do is change around the layer modes and basically fuck around and see what works even better what makes it look really really good it's all about fucking around and finding out, you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, in general, this is how I shade my drawings. It's not that hard, it's pretty simple, it requires a little wizardry, but in the end, I think it's really, uh, it's really making my art pop, and makes it look interesting, and that kind of stuff. So. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next tutorial perhaps! <laughs>